All right, the purpose of this video, again, STAT uh, 1150, is what should we report? Uh, should we report the mean of the median, or should we report the standard deviation of quart or quartiles? Now, remember, guys, these are measures of center, and these give us uh, an indication of the typical score. These two measures... give us a measure of variability which uh, give us an uh, indication of consistency. So the answer, which should we report? Well, my response is all four. But you're reading a journal article, let's say that you're a psychology major, or let's say you're a nurse, Let's say you're in engineering and you're reading an article and they give all four, but you want to know, well, which represents a typical score? Which represents the consistency? I've got the mean and the median, but they're different numbers. I've got the standard deviation and the quartiles, but they're different numbers. Which one should I depend on? Well, guys, the answer is it depends. So what I'd like to do is this. I'd like to start out with a data set of uh, 1, 3, 3, 5, 5, 5, 7, 7, and 9. Now, <clears throat> I'm going to get out of here, and I'm going to be doing a lot of back and forth here. So I want to uh, go to StatCrunch. And I want to type in my own data. And I'm going to type these numbers in. So I have a 1, a 3, a 3, a 5, a 5, a 5, a 7, a 7, and a 9. Now, when I go to graph and I look at a histogram, I get the most beautiful, perfect, bell-shaped and symmetric distribution you've ever seen in your entire life. So, Shape, bell-shaped, and I'm writing this down because we're going to go back over. Now, let's go to our statistics. And I want to look at the mean and the median only. So I want this variable, and I want to look at the mean, and let's see what I do, command, and I want to look at the median. And when I compute these, you're going to see that the mean and the median are both 5. Now, I'll tell you what I want to do. I want to change some things, and uh, I want you to be able to see what I'm doing right here. So let me reposition a few things. All right. Okay. So this data, as it was, uh, had a shape, a bell-shaped and symmetric, had a mean of 5, median of 5. <clears throat> now, I want to take this same distribution, but I want to add a number that I know will be unusual. It's an outlier. So I'm going to go over here to Stack Crunch, and I'm going to add a 25. Now I want to look at my graph. And I can see because of one number, my nice, beautiful, I can't even say that without laughing, bell-shaped and symmetric distribution just went haywire. It went wacky. It jumped from bell-shaped and symmetric to positively skewed. But now let's see what happened with our numerical summaries over here. So I want to go to Stat, Summary Stat, go to Columns. I'm going to do Variable, and I want to include the mean, and I want to include the median. Well, the mean is now 7, 
and the median remain the same as a 5. Well guys, I want to do that again and I want to add even a bigger outlier. I want to add a 50. So now bring that here and I want to add a 50 to that. So my graph is even going to get wackier. More positively skewed. It's kind of weird to say that because it's kind of like more pregnant. I mean, you're pregnant. That thing's positively skewed and so is the other one. But let's look at our summary statistics. And what you're going to see, something kind of interesting. The mean got bigger, the median still hung around at 5. So, guys, what can we conclude? What we can conclude is in the presence of outliers. Now, let's make this bigger so you guys can see it. Because In the presence of outliers... Fill in the blank. Which one is the most which one is the most stable measure of center? Well, as soon as we add the 25, this mean of 5 went wacky and jumped up to 7 just because of one observation. But 5, median stayed the same, didn't it? We added another 50. The mean jumped from like 7 to 10, it almost over doubled the original amount just because of two observations, but the median stayed stable at 5. So guys, without question, the median is the most stable measure of center in the presence of outliers. Fact. The median is married to quartiles. The mean is married to standard deviation. So when you say that the most stable measure of center, and it's the one you want to use to make important decisions about your data set, the most typical score, then you're going to report this as the measure of spread. You're going to report quartiles. If we depend on the mean for the measure of center, then you're going to report the standard deviation for the measure of spread. You would never report the median or depend on the median as the center and the standard deviation as the spread. Median, I'm sorry, let me work this way. Quartile is a measure of spread that's built around the median. Standard deviation is a measure of spread that's built around the mean. So, what happens here? It depends on our distribution shape. If we have a symmetric distribution shape, we're going to report the mean as the measure of center and the standard deviation, because it goes with the mean, as the measure of spread. If we have a distribution that's skewed, either positively skewed or negatively skewed, we're going to depend on the median and we're going to depend on the quartiles. So once we make this decision, the measure of spread that goes with that is completely dependent, it's completely made. Again, you'd never depend on the mean and go to the quartiles for your measure of spread. You would never report the median and go to the standard deviation as your measure of spread. So guys, you got a bell-shaped and symmetric distribution. Depend on the mean as the measure of center and the standard deviation as the measure of spread. If you've got a skewed distribution, depend on the median for the measure of center because it's the most stable measure in the presence of outliers. And depend on the quartile for the measure of spread. So, <clears throat> I got a big old fancy smancy grant going on. Actually, I do. I've got a couple of them. Uh, and I 
get a shape of my distribution. And one of my variables I'm including in a very important analysis has a histogram that looks like this. What am I going to report? I will report them all. I'm going to report the mean, I'm going to report the median, I'm going to report the standard deviation, I'm going to report Q1, Q3, and I'm going to report the IQ, or I'm going to report them all. But which one am I going to depend on to make a statement about my typical score? The median, because it's skewed. What measure of spread am I going to report with the median to make important decisions? It's a no-brainer. Quartiles go with the median. Same study, I've got another variable and I look at a histogram and I'm working, uh, actually I'm working with some people out of Florida on this and I get a uh, distribution shape that looks like that. What am I going to report? Or report it all. Mean, median, standard deviation, quartiles, Q1, Q3, IQR. But what am I going to look at to report the typical score, the measure of center? Well, I'm going to look at the mean. What measure of spread am I going to report? I'm going to report the quartiles. Okay, I just want to see who's listing. I'm going to report the standard deviation. <clears throat> The mean and standard deviation are married. The median and quartiles are married. Report them all. And when you got a skewed distribution, you report the, uh, re de depend on the median for your measure of center, your measure of typical score. Quartiles goes with it. you got a bell-shaped and symmetric distribution. Which one are you going to report? You report them all. But which one are you going to focus on for your measure of a typical score? Or report the mean. Standard deviation goes with the mean, so you're going to report that as your measure of spread. All right, that's all. Take care.